better angle. Why wasn't I doing this angle last time? Hindsight's 2020, man. Mm -hmm. Higher stool. <laughs> Okay, I'm ready when you guys are. What did you guys break back there? Uh -oh. Okay, that's not as long as it's not glass. <laughs> what you break back there? <laughs> that's me whenever I hear my dogs like something crinkly and I'm like, yeah. Yep. The puppy's what? big enough I now it can get in the, in, get in the kitchen sink if it wants. Yeah, I, I I got a I got another puppy um last August. So and it was puppy puppy like I've never had a puppy puppy. Yeah. That's 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 still pretty puppy, you yeah. know. Yeah. At least you don't have to bottle feed. Yeah. You know. Living back with my parents at the moment, and so there's three dogs at our house. Nice. And two of them are very smart and they teamed up one day because they realized if they run into the like kitchen shelf enough times, they could knock the treats off of the top of it. Very smart. And so I came home and there's treats on the ground. And I was like, how did this happen? Awesome. The dog I used to have was like, Please spell it now. Like, I do. You want to go for it, like talking about it, and then you mm want -hmm. to go for it, and then you ALK, the very AT, treat block, and then like, he eventually learned, like, spelling those words meant kind of like, bruh. Yeah. New code. My dogs know lunch, dinner, food, treat, block, that excursion. Excursion. That's the block. Oh, I'm going to take the dog on, on an excursion. And I actually picked up that was the new walk. I love that too. Nice word. Like, not a stroll, but a <laughs> excursion. It's like 30 minutes. I'm just so much. So, I'm going to do this. 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 I'm Hey, how's it going? Next class would be doing portrait. No. Yeah, you can steal their frog. My frog is it like a geode rock? Can you see through it? Yeah, it's like a weird, like. People, this rock right here. people always think those will be not that hard, and they always end up being a little hard. It, yeah, it looks different. But I mean, if that's the only really hard thing in your still life, then. How, how long is this going to be? Uh, only for while well, we do this portrait demo. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Uh, probably forty-five minutes. I can't wait. Okay. Wait, this is the final. What? It'll be the final. Are Drug. we going to have time next week? Uh, depending on where we're at, but I'm letting you guys have the entire time. Are you going to what about next? The other people? Well, the other people. I already told all the other people that they're doing stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to move on. Well, we're almost done. I think after this, we have three weeks. Yeah. So we do portraits, and then you guys decide whether you want to do portraits or uh, still still lives for your final, and then we do our final, and then I'll never see any of you guys again. Oh, you sound sad to see that. I, I am. <laughs> Always am. <laughs> Always am. <laughs> you, he also said, can you do us an email too, saying that um, next, since we're doing portraits next, Next week, that you show up in your best cosplay? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, I'll see if anybody does it. Okay, we'll send it right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it after this demo. All so. right, all right, no, no, no. Do you, yep. you, guys, you guys remember when, like, you guys were doing, like, pancakes at the final? What's that? We did, like, pancakes. Oh, oh, yeah. And they yeah. Like, they, were they, they, they came into the class and, uh, you know, yeah. Were they, wearing, were they wearing were they wearing pancakes and syrup? Yes, I, I got those that. costumes. <laughs> so Did you? I, I, I managed to fill in those costumes. That's so nice. I, I will be wearing those things next week. <laughs> you want to see? I have a picture of me in it. You want to see? Yeah, that? yeah, I do. <laughs> I'll see it's my best Instagram photo. You know. <laughs> nice. But uh, let me find it. There you go. See, I, I look good in it. I look good. Awesome. I rock it. I rock it. <laughs> I really, really rock it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. you want to see? The ink is leaking. That's what I'm feeling. The ink is leaking. It's me, the third costume. Oh, you're ink. You might yeah. think about putting it in, a, in like a Ziploc baggie or anything. Because sometimes it will explode. I've definitely had that happen to me before. It's not fun. Right now, For portraits? We're <laughs> oh, I'm going to use my face for this one. No, because uh, this is one of the ways you guys can do your portraits. I'll show you. Yeah. It's Mm -hmm. like well, we can we can put one of the lamps down further and blast it, yeah. you know. or we can put it straight overhead, or we, we we can mess with it for sure. Yeah, you are there any more of those clamp lights? Because that one does go up and down. Yeah, I don't know how far it goes up and down. Let's take a pause right quick and get this out of the way. Um, more wine glasses. I definitely have more wine glasses down there. Just don't know exactly where they are. So let, 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 let's do this demo right fast and uh, we can get started on our ink stuff. Where's the microphone? The microphone? It's up there. Yeah. Can I say hello to the party? Yeah, you can say, everybody can say hello. I don't hello. know who's on here, but if anybody's on here. But um, okay. So I'm going to do a self-portrait using my phone. 
We used to use mirrors in art school, um, but now everybody has one of these. So you just turn it in the portrait position. And we start off that gestural drawing. Big and flowy. Again, spending more time looking at myself than I am at the paper. Plotting out where my uh, brow line is, where the eyes are, where the end of my nose is, where the opening of my mouth is, and where my chin is. And then how I break it down is first going to the nose. Putting in the nostrils. And those are going to be really sketchy for now because eventually all this will be gone and we'll want those shadows to be thinner. I kind of figure out where the indention of the brow line comes from and then do my first eye. So something important to keep in mind, one of the major issues I saw, which is a major issue everybody has with drawing portraits is um, doing almond shaped eyes and not actually paying attention to the shape of your eye. Also, both of your eyes are not going to be the same size. One is always bigger than the other. And then before I put my brow in, I'm going to jump to the other one. Kind of plot out. Take, take and kind of dot out how big, how small the eye is. I don't really do that anymore, but I would recommend you guys do that um, starting out. A lot of people also don't get in the eyelids. And then I find where my brows are. I'm not going to go into too much detail besides where I think the shadows are going to be. And it's cool because I have raccoon eyes and I can block out pretty much everything before moving on. So I have that. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to follow where the bottom of that nose was. And that'll be the indentation that slits your uh, face in half. Find where my Top lip is going to be for people without mustaches. Um, you're going to have to do more than that. And I will draw somebody without a mustache later, but have that for now. And to see where we have these, everything in the face kind of makes these triangles, every area, all links together to make a triangle. And we pay attention to um, the proportions of that triangle. And we can use things as anchor weights. So I want to use what are going to be the sides of my face to plot out the end of my mouth. So I know that that's a good size for me. We don't want to connect the lips. When you connect the lips, they flatten out. So after I have this much, I'm going to begin to connect things. And then let me, let me get an ear out so we can actually do an ear. So a good way to find the proportion of the ear 
is the tip of the uh, the mouth. Follow that, and then the um, the height of the brow. So then that you'll find the correct proportions for the ear. All right, so I'm gonna quickly sketch in where I think my hair is gonna go and give myself a beard so I don't look so funny. And then we do that thing where we brush it all the way. So I can still see where everything is, but I can begin to add highlights. The more, the more you have on the face, the more detail you have in the face, um, the older you're gonna look. Um, the otter it's going to be. So you'll want to pay attention. Um, I like using the chalk to get all the features in because it's a little softer. It's a little kinder to me. And the directional shading. And then I'll come in, we'll just, uh, I don't wanna use a lot of lines. I wanna use the illusion of line the most I can, like almost think about like the fabric. I don't want anything too harsh. I wanna use some of that shading. going back and forth between both the uh, charcoal and the chalk. Oh, did I not grab? Does anybody have a piece of uh, compressed charcoal? I thought I grabbed a piece and this is not a piece. Thank you very much. Let's make a little cameo. Yeah, I appreciate it. <laughs> okay. Get the charcoal for the, the darker areas. Again, using shadow rather than line to mix everything. And it is gonna be one of those things for you that it looks very odd for a while. It'll start taking shape. You know, we still want to shade directionally. It's super important with the face. You get, if you flatten out one part, it's going to look so weird. It's going to look like Picasso. Again, no, no super harsh lines. Might even use some of the that uh, hatching that we're playing around with with the ink. Remember, I was talking about you don't want anything too thick, any lines too thick. That's why it's good just to brush it out just a little bit.
going back, going over back to my other eye. This might be a good time to like, don't do what I'm doing, but get a something to hold down so you don't uh, mess up everything you just did. All right, going down to mouth. Again, we don't want to connect. That'll flatten it out. Directional shading. And it is, I am using tone paper. I'd recommend just using tone paper from here on out if you're not doing ink. If you're doing ink, um, either or is fine. But definitely if you're doing charcoal. And see what I did there for the top lip? I just took the excess and kind of traced it around. Um, usually the top lip is just a few shades different. Um, then the other, the other hard thing to do is um, Teeth are really hard to do early on because remember the more detail you add, um, the harder it is to keep that, uh, that realism up. So before I proceed onto any other part, I'm gonna make sure that this is where I want it because the next step would be to add the hair. And I want to make sure that everything's cool before I move on so I don't even have to mess with anything else. Get these, get these eyes sorted out. And the eyes. that us is somebody messaging us on here. everything together that way when I add the highlights over top everything will pop out way more than it would normally you can see the build up pocket 
So hair is something that is can be really difficult, but again, we remember that it's easier the less detail we actually put in and the more we like give illusion to detail. So I like to give a base color. And again, directional shading is super duper important. I have my beard here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop in and put some hatching in the darker areas rather than make it the smooth gradient. I have this contrast. Some places it's too it's too much, so we can tone it down a little bit. But we still want to keep the quality of that mark. Also, I'm noticing this is kind of odd. So, so with the white charcoal, it's going to look really overpowering at first. But we'll start layering these marks on the on the areas that do have highlights or the areas of your hair that is lighter. Then you'll just come in and tone them down. And this gives like the illusion that you've done these layers over and over and over again, when honestly it's only in three, about three um, different uh, values. All right. And then now that I have that in, I'm gonna tighten up the area surrounding. like that. So let's revisit hair up top of our heads because more of us have that than that have beards. So again, the directional shading first to go give that initial layer. And it's much like a gestural drawing. This is also where we can clean up the shape of our face. All right, so darker areas. I shaded this. I know there's that ear there, but it's gonna be shaded too because covered by the hair. I'm gonna get the darker areas first. And this is kind of a buildup because the light's hitting it up at the top and making a clear, clear fade. But also we'll want to pick out certain strands. To accentuate. And then what really brings out everything is that white, which this isn't high, this isn't really your highlights yet. This is just adding that texture of hair <coughs> without drawing every strand and overwhelming yourself. Because we're gonna mute this here in one moment. All right, so I'm gonna mute it in some areas. I 
Again, we've only put down about three different values. It's gonna look like a lot more. And we add our highlights. All right, so then I just touch up anywhere. I think I've missed. Uh, the nose is a little, a little less defined. I need my more cheekbones. More definition on mustache. Any questions about any of those, those little steps we just did? No. Yeah. Does it seem a little overwhelming? Yeah. I thought it was, I thought it was like Zoom only. I, know. I thought I was just watching the court. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it's going to seem really overwhelming, but what, what was this? Uh, maybe 40 minutes? So 214. So, so, like less than that, like 30 minutes. Um, and there'll be time portraits where you'll get. You guys already know how to shade. You already know how to do directional shading. You know shadow, you know highlights. You know how to do basic shapes, turning them all into more complex shapes. What's more difficult about the face than say doing those flowers or the skeleton over there is everybody's said your entire life, people are hard. <laughs> um, you get one thing off and it looks just odd. So um, just give yourself wiggle room. I would already start practicing. You're not, you're not required to um, do any sort of homework in this class, of course. But I would encourage you guys to uh, get bored, sketch some people off your Netflix show, sketch your girlfriend, sketch your boyfriend, partner, whatever, your mom. Um, just get in some extra practice. And I'll go into more detail about breaking up the face and those triangles and things like that. But it, it's a lot easier than it looks. So let's finish ink. Um, if it's two fourteen, uh, that 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 gives you guys tons of time um, to finish. I think you have more than plenty of time. Let's try and be finished by like four thirty. Four thirty. Are you gonna do that demo? Yeah, we, we, we can do that. Can we do a meeting? Yeah, we can do that. Are you gonna do that demo for like? Ink and portraits, doing portraits at three fourths, doing profile, like, yeah, profile, profile like side. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. So we'll have all sorts of these things. Can you look at me real quick? <laughs> Does it look like me? That's the essence. <laughs> Thank, thanks. The the show our flag means death i just finished watching it yes you kind of you kind of made yourself look a bit like blackbeard i, I i'll take it i'll take <laughs> it definitely halfway through i was like this is turning out like jesus <laughs> yeah i was about to say like if you have like a crown, I, I used to get that all the time if yeah. you have like a crown of thorns that one that's just 